I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and we're here today with Jill Finley of Jill Lily Studio. Hi, Jill. Hi, Kimberly. She's been teaching us how to applique, and we've got lots of her videos. And we want to show you something that's a little bit more intricate and how she uses fray check on some of her smaller pieces. So, Jill, can you show us? Sure. Okay, so I have a shape here, Kimberly, that has a little inside curve. See that little inside point? And that's the shape I want to show you today because the fray check is important for this shape. And if you want to see what I'm doing, refer to the other videos on the basic applique preparation. Okay, so I've got my template. So I'm going to cut on this shape about a quarter inch away. I'm just eyeballing approximately quarter inch seam allowance on the outside of this template. Okay, so now I'm ready to apply the fray check and I put just a little drop here in the, just at the divot right where the inside point is. And you're just putting a very tiny dot. Yep. And we don't have to wait for that to dry. We can go ahead and snip now and I'm going to snip all the way in. Right and hold to the it point. Right, there, right to the point. Okay, now that uh, frees this up so this fabric can turn this way and this one can turn that way and you'll have a nice crisp little bend right there. So I'm going to prep this the same way as all my other applique pieces with a little bit of spray starch painted on with a stencil brush. Okay, and then I use an awl so that I don't get burned. And I just put my iron right here in between these two edges where I've got the snip and I'm going to just press that and press the next one. And you're not using steam. Okay, and I'm going to pull this edge in. And pull that edge in. And you just kind of let that iron just sit so that starch just dries you right Just on let the, the iron sit, so, yep, exactly. So I'm, I've got that tacked down and then I'm going to push the uh, extra fabric over the petal around the round shape. So you're kind of doing each corner just a little bit in and then uh -huh. doing the round. Yep. So I've got that in, then I'm going to direct my iron from the outside toward the center of the applique shape and pull in all the edges with my awl. One more corner. Now this also works for like the inside of a heart, you know, to the top side of a heart. Um, you need to put a little drop of fray check there. And that fray check, it does tend to dry really hard, so don't put a lot. Just that tiny drop is all you need, just enough to keep it from fraying, keep the things from unraveling, and um, you won't notice it. But if you put a big glob of it, you'll notice it because it, it dries kind of hard. Okay. Now my shape is all prepared with all the edges nice and curved. Press it once from the top. And then, like we showed in the other videos, we'll just take out the template and use my Apple glue to baste it to our background. About every half inch or so. Maybe two per petal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, depending how big your petals are. And then just attach it to your background. Then you're ready to stitch, either by hand or by machine. As soon as I glue that down, it's very sticky. It's going to stay there and that's going to be ready for me to take care of. This is really helpful for me and I hope it's helpful for all of you. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.